مشاهدينا أينما كنتم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ما زلنا مع التغطية المستمرة للمشهد المصري والحدث المصري والانفلات الأمني والإرهابي اللي بدأ من امبارح وزي ما شفتوا التظاهرات اللي خرجت امبارح وبدأت باستشهاد أكتر من ضابط شرطة لمحاولة اقتحام السجون زي ما شفنا كان في محاولة لاقتحام أكتر أسام الشرطة أعتذر في محاولة أكتر من محاولة لاقتحام أقسام الشرطة منها طبعا الاسم الأسبكية القريب من ميدان رمسيس اللي كان فيه الفعاليات لتظاهرات الإخوان أمس الحقيقة أن أنا طلعت النهاردة سبعة ونص صباحا بنفسي رحت ميدان رمسيس عشان أتحرى الدقة وأكلم بعض شهود العيان وعندي شهود عيان بأسماء ورحت اتكلمت معاهم منهم واحد صاحب كشك طبعا مش هقول على اسمه ولا هقول على مكانه لكن هو عندي في مكان معلوم ومكان رسمي آه قال لي ان انا شفت بعناية قناصة من على الأسطح المنازل ده ده شهادة آه عيان لصاحب كشك كشك سجاير كشك بسيط عند انا كنت بوصل صراحة اختي فانا حبيت ان انا اخش اتجول في المكان واسأل الناس كان في مجموعة جوه المسجد الفتح والى الان هم جوه جوه مسجد الفتح وبيستخبوا فيه واخر الاخبار ان هم بيشترطوا بيشترطوا ان الامن يجي يحقق معاهم جوه جوه المسجد هل هذه دوله هل اللي انتم شايفينه ده دوله هل هل دي تبقى دوله لما كل واحد طب خلاص انا عايز لو عملت مشكله انا عايز يجي يتحقق معايا في بيتنا انا بيتنا مريح بالنسبه لي وعايز اقعد فيه هل هذه دوله خرج حظر التجوال ده دوله الحقيقه ايضا قال لي انه الساعه سبعة ونص ده شاهد العيان الكشك اللي جنب بالظبط ميدان رمسيس قال لي ان هم سبعة ونص نادوا في الميكروفون ميكروفون المسجد وقالوا للناس انه ضايع مننا مش هنطلع الا لما ضايع مننا موبايل لونه احمر فارجوكم هاتوه لنا بيقولوا للناس اللي بره الاستفزاز يعني هو قال لي كده بنفس اللفظ استفزاز من منهم لينا بيستفزونا دول الاهالي قالوا كمان ان احنا شفنا الموت امبارح عشان نعلق على هذه الاحداث واكتر معانا الخبير الامني السيد اللواء فؤاد علام اهلا وسهلا اهلا بك يا فندم اهلا نورنا و... وعايز اخد منك رؤيه للمشهد برؤيتك الثاقبه الامنيه قبل ما نخش في التفاصيل واضح انه هناك اكثر من تنظيم سري بيعملوا في الساحه الان وكانوا في انتظار لحظة الانطلاق بتعليمات في اغلب الظن ان لم يكن يقيم من قيادات اخوانية بذاتها من بينهم الاخ محمد البلتاجي وصفوت حجازي وعصام العريان ومن شابهه المجموعات دي مش بس تنظيمات اخوانية لا دي تنظيمات اخوانية وتنظيمات اخرى بعضها من الفلول الجماعة الإسلامية القديمة اللي ارتدوا عن المراجعات ومجموعات أخرى من تنظيمات أخرى كلها تعمل في اتجاه واحد ألا وهو تقويد الدولة المصرية بدعوة أنهم أصحاب مشروع إسلامي وأن من, غير من هو ليس معهم فهو ضدهم بمعنى أنهم ضد المشروع الإسلامي يعني قسموا الشعب اسمين بيدعوا على غير حق ان هم عندهم مشروع اسلامي وانه اللي ما يبقاش معاهم يبقى بيعمل ضد المشروع الاسلامي. اظن يا سياده اللواء ان هذه القسمه هي القسمه الحقيقيه اللي احنا موجودين فيها دلوقتي والبدايه طبعا من عند سيد قطب، سيد قطب لما بدا كلامه او بدا الاسم للشعب المصري قال انه المجتمع كافر. حتى لو كان يصلي حتى لو كان يزكي حتى لو كان يصوم حتى لو كان يحج بيت الله الحرام فالمجتمع كافر ويجب تغييره بالقوة ده سيد قد ده بداية الـ الـ الانفصال الاثنين هم, ينظر هم ينظروا إلى الشارع أنه كافر وبالتالي يستباح دم يستباح دمه وعرضه وماله مش بس دمه دمه وعرضه وماله هو لو رجعنا للتاريخ الإسلام القديم للأسف إن ده فكر الخوارج منذ الدولة الإسلامية الأولى كما نعرف من القصة القديمة الفكر ده موجود وجدده المرحوم الشيخ سيد قطب في الستينيات وكان ووجه بمنظومة علمية على مستوى راقي جدا 
من خلال حوار ومناقشة الأفكار والأدلة اللي هم كانوا بيطرحوها ونجحت هذه الحوارات إنها تنتهي بما سمي بالمراجعات إنما بكل أسف جزء ممن كانوا قد أعلنوا أنهم من ضمن هذه المراجعات ارتدوا مرة أخرى وعادوا إلى هذه الأفكار إلى جانب هذه في التنظيم الإخواني السري اللي بدأ يتحرك وبيتحرك باندفاع خطير جدا و يعني أنا مش عارف أوصفهم بإيه يعني لأنهم أحسهم أنهم بعد أكثر من 80 عاما وصلوا إلى الحكم وفجأة بينتزع منهم الحكم أو بيؤخذ منهم الحكم أو الشعب بيقف ضد مشروعهم اللي ثبت باليقين أنهم غير قادرين على إدارة الدولة يمكن قادرين على إدارة جماعة يمكن قادرين على إدارة تنظيم سري إنما حكم دولة ثبت باليقين أنهم غير لما اتخذ منهم الحكم أصيبوا بنوع من ال يعني أنا ما طب سيادة الدول يعني النون. تعتقد إن هو دي ردة فعل إن هم بس اتخذ منهم الحكم ولا في مكتسبات أخرى خارجية وداخلية كانت يعني بتقوي مشروعهم اللي يهدف من ناحية من ناحية الخارجية إنه تفتيت الدولة المصرية وتفتيت الدول العربية كلها وتفتيت وخال إشارة أوسع جديد وليهم هم طبعا مكتسبات جوا مصر بالتأكيد اللي بحضرتك بتقوله ده مؤكد يعني واضح منذ سنوات طويلة من أكثر من 15 سنة لغاية النهاردة أنه في مشروع عالمي بالنسبة لمنطقة الشرق الأوسط استمعنا مرات للشرق الأوسط الكبير والشرق الأوسط مش عارف إيه من نبتاع وواضح أن هذا المخطط بدأ في تنفيذه منذ أكثر من 15 عام ونجح في مناطق مختلفة مثلا ما حدث في السودان من قسمة السودان وانفصال الجنوب وفي طريقهم لانفصال دارفور أيضا نجح في العراق أنهم فتتوا العراق بالكامل وقضوا على تاني أكبر قوة عسكرية في المنطقة ألا وهي الجيش العراقي م. الذي لم تعد له قائمة وعشان يتكون تاني عاوز له خمسين سنة أخرى م. ما في شك أنهم استكمال هذا المخطط ما يحدث في سوريا للقضاء على الجيش السوري نحن الآن في مرحلة المواجهة داخل مصر بينفذوا هذا المخطط النهاردة في مصر الهدف الرئيسي يعني إضعاف الدولة المصرية إن لم يكن تقويض الدولة المصرية ويأتي في مقدمة تنفيذ هذا المخطط إن القوات المسلحة تدخل في معركة تؤدي إلى تراجع القوات المسلحة عن قدرتها وإمكاناتها وإحنا متنبهين لذا كويس قوي م. إدارة القوات المسلحة متنبهة لهذا المخطط كويس جدا وده يمكن بيترجم دلوقتي في التصريحات الأمريكية اللي بدأت يعني تكشف عن أنيابها وعن هذا صحيح. المخطط صحيح. فالحضرتك بتقوله م. بكل أسف أنه اللي بيقوم بالعمليات دي داخل مصر بعضهم بالتأكيد ضالع في هذا المخطط وهم قلة إنما الغالبية العظمى متحوك عليها تحت مسمى المشروع الإسلامي والإدنياب والآخرون الشرعية الأمانة يعني اللي في بعض الناس بتقول إن إحنا بس إحنا إحنا بندور على الشرعية لكن طبعا الغالبية العظمى هم هم طبعا بيروحوا زي ما كانوا بيروحوا في الانتخابات لأن حضرتك طبعا تعرف لعبة الانتخابات كويس والانتخابات لها لعبة تماما بتختلف تماما عن الشارع إنه بيلعب على بعض الناس بانه دي شرعيه ولو احنا كده لو احنا كل رئيس هنيجي هنطلع عليه يبقى خلاص ما فيش شرعيه فبعض الناس فعلا مصدقه ان هي دي شرعيه والشرعيه اللي امريكا عايزاها النسخه الايرانيه بحيث انها تبقى في ذريعه انها تتدخل في اي وقت من الاوقات. لا كلمه شرعيه دي البانه اتزرعت وبتستخدم دون وعي يعني لو سالت الرئيس محمد مرسي نفسه من ناحية القانونيه عن تفسير الشرعية وأكد لك أنه مش هيجيب مش يعني أنا بقول لك مش هيجيب كلمة يعني من هما الشرعية الشرعية موجودة 24 إيراد هم في وقت من الأوقات كان بيقول لك الشرعية الثورية والنهاردة بيقول لك لا ما فيش حاجة اسمها شرعية ثورية 
هم في وقت من الاوقات بيقول لك صندوق الانتخابات وهم دلوقتي بيرفضوا صندوق الانتخابات هي مساله تجاره بالمسميات لا اكثر ولا اقل انما اذا كانوا قابلين للشرعيه فالصندوق موجود بالظبط هو ده اللي عايز يقبلوا فكره ان يتعمل انتخابات مبكره مصر خطت خطوات في اتجاه استكمال المسيره الديمقراطيه اللجنه بتاع الدستور بدات سيبدا العمل في انتخاب اللجنه اللي هتعمل الدستور الجديد او تعدل الدستور الرئيس الجمهوريه موجود مؤقت الحكومه مؤقته ممكن جدا في خلال من اربع شهور لست شهور نكون استكملنا المسيره الديمقراطيه بالكامل يكون في دستور يكون في حكومه منتخبه يكون في رئيس منتخب ممكن جدا So if they are looking for legitimacy, then we can make the 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 arbitration between us uh, the the elections. So uh, uh, so concerning the religion, if you can go to the mosque, if you can go to the pilgrimage, uh, or uh, can give alms to the poor people, I I think that's. There are uh, some uh, some people uh, from the Muslim Brotherhood. They said that uh, who doesn't follow us, he, they are infidels, and uh, you shouldn't uh, prejudge on them if he will go to the paradise or he will go to hell. Uh, so uh, we have to leave uh, the judge to God. So I think that is, it is very important to have to can fill the gap between the 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 um, the, uh, the Muslim Brotherhood and their thoughts and the other society, uh, uh, and 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 I think that's when, when we call Sheikh or the the religious uh, people, they have to understand uh, the uh, the religion very well, and we have to. Uh, to tell them it is very important to understand the very important and the very crucial uh, elements that we have to uh, we have a concept that is and the thoughts that belong to Sayyid Qutb who can uh, say that the, the whole society is infidel uh, or atheist and and we are not against the Islamic project because we are all Muslims and we are fully, we are ready, uh, ready for any Islamic uh, projects, but we need uh, some uh, people who can work for the sake of this country. Uh, and they, they shouldn't talk to the uh, international uh, channels in, in a fake way. Uh, but uh, and you shouldn't be a, a, a messenger or uh, and to claim that you you are the best person and the, the others are the worst and they are try to deceive the the, the youngsters uh, and we have a, a very uh, rooted uh, religious. Uh, behavior in into the egyptian people and we have to look at the um, the religious institutions like al azhar and the, the ministry of endowments that uh, i think that's the religious the religious institutions has already made its own uh, rule and they have been uh, collaborate between the Minister of Endowments and Al Azhar uh, Mosque in order uh, to make plans and uh, to send uh, their envoys to everywhere uh, in order to uh, introduce the, the right uh, tolerant Islam. So the the I mean, uh, that means that but the, the uh, currently the two Muslim Brotherhood, they, would, they said that we don't need Al-Azhar, we don't need the Minister of Endowments. 
but but there are about 100 um, uh, tapes, uh, documented tapes, and I, I think it has been affected uh, positively on the Egyptian uh, society, and uh, the, there are some people we are contacted with us. Uh, with me and with the others because I, I think that I call upon the Egyptian uh, TV and other channels in order uh, to rebroadcast such uh, tapes uh, in order to uh, raise awareness and to uh, uh, about concerning the uh, right uh, uh, Islam And uh, so we have to differentiate between what they have already said and what is the uh, right Islam says. And we have to correct their uh, uh, false concepts and the thoughts. And uh, there are, uh, but I have. Uh, I, 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 I have to leave those religious uh, channels, but I, I can have uh, specialists who can, uh, who can reply, who can answer them, and uh, to, to can disclose their fakes. Because it is very uh, important right now, uh, to stand together against this current terror, terrorism uh, which is made by the Muslim Brotherhood. But they are not seeking to uh, implement the, uh, the Islamic project. But uh, we, we have uh, uh, to uh, organize ourselves thought by thought and uh, dialogue against dialogue, but not weapons against weapons. But we uh, have to listen to our uh, religion, to our um, uh, religious uh, converts. At the the beginning of the at the beginning, we have to look at the, the idealistic uh, solution that our our mistakes, uh, which has been described by Mr. Fuad Alam, uh, by the General Fuad Alam, uh, those, uh, if they are uh, belong to the Islam or they are not belong to the Islam, but the the security solution have to be walk in parallel with the uh, conceptual uh, and. Uh, solution as well and uh, who, when I'm, I'm discussing such of those people they don't understand anything but I, I, I am not uh, in depth with religion but we have to spread also and to distribute the 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 the, the, the right concepts of Islam and uh, the thoughts as well. Let us, so we have to lock this uh, and close this subject and we have to give advice to the state uh, to, to go uh, in parallel in two way with the security, with the security solution and uh, the other also intellectual uh, solution as well. I have a very important uh, point, so that is the uh, jihadist, uh, the Islamic jihadist, they are very connected uh, radically with what's going on in uh, Sinai and the other provinces of Egypt, and uh, they are trying to burn and to de demolish the the buildings and I, I think that the state has already aborted a lot of their attempts. Uh, so for example yesterday they left one of the building to be burned for hours. Uh, that, so there is no justifications for that. 
and that there is no reasons to leave that. Uh, that if you are shot or not. Uh, I think they are supported. Uh, those uh, Muslim tr uh, Brotherhood, they are the the sup they are supporting the um, the violence uh, through lectures, um, through uh, statements, uh, leaflets, and they have a military wing for their Muslim Brotherhood. But at the the suitable time, they can uh, they can forget their convergence and they uh, have their own way and one uh, stance against the whole society. But now they they uh, claim that that they will apply uh, what Moshe said the Islamic project, but they didn't take. A uh, single step concerning the application of such project. Uh, for example, that is a, um, the uh, some of the uh, uh, Islamic uh, groups uh, or the um, uh, jihadi Salafists. I can take such a telephone. Mr. Amrognema from Swiss. What is the situation now in Swiss province? Mr. Am? I think a lot of a, a lot of grievances happened in 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 in, in Swiss and th there are uh, about uh, 13 victims have been shot by the Mosl by the Muslim Brotherhood yesterday, and the uh, and uh, most of the uh, religious people they are trying to uh, try to find what you call it the, to to stop the bloodshed or to avoid the bloodshed and to try to. Uh, to convince the other people uh, and uh, to stop the burning, uh, the burnings of the tanks, which costs about 20 million Egyptian pounds, and uh, there were some demonstrations uh, up to seven o'clock in the morning, and uh, the. Uh, but in Al uh, Arbain Square in Swiss province, they, there were peaceful demonstrations. That's why the military force and the security forces left them alone up to the time of the curfew implementation. But, but at, at 7 o'clock, they have to declare, the military force have to declare there is the application of the uh, curfew. And uh, the demonstration didn't listen to them. And that is, that is why, that is why the military, uh, military forces started to make a cautious uh, bullets in the air. And, and uh, they uh, have been, at the military forces have been attacked by some of the Armed uh, elements uh, 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 among the the Muslim Brotherhood. That is why they um, uh, they attacked them uh, by uh, to defend themselves, and that's why we can find about 13 victims. Uh, and about uh, 70 injured people in Swiss in different hospitals. And one of the uh, workers in the ambulance have already uh, uh, shot as well and injured. And that's why uh, there are many scenarios has been requested by the, uh, the Swiss people 
that is, they were uh, keen on the uh, peaceful and the, the, the first uh, the, the, the scenario that is uh, that is they have to uh, withdraw all the demonstrations uh, uh, alone and in order to, to uh, not to avoid any coverage for the armed uh, elements and uh, there is also a popular uh, meetings in order uh, to declare the right uh, position of the uh, people or the, the citizens in uh, Suez and to uh, confront any violation to the curfew. Mr. Amr, you have already told me there were some armed elements from the Muslim Brotherhood. That's not my own my talking. Uh, but I was inside the, the 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 demonstrations, but I have listened to the leaders because there were uh, some Muslim Brotherhood, some Salafists, and I think uh, the General Fuad al uh, We have to rec we have to. Uh, go to Mr. Hafiz Salama and to, to ask him to intervene. So inform Mr. Hafiz Salama on my behalf. This is his time and Mr. Abdurrahman Sadaqa as well. Please listen to me. So Hafiz Salama and Abdurrahman Sadaqa have the capability or have the ability in, in order uh, to make orientation to the to the uh, people and then we can go to al bihira province as well uh, thank you very much and my uh, greetings to your uh, uh, hosts to your guests and uh, uh, there are a lot of events has been uh, happened in al bihira uh, province and there we they shot some of the uh, police stations. Dinchel, that is uh, in Dinchel uh, uh, village in Al Bahira uh, province. They, they attack this uh, uh, police station, and now. There were a popular uh, committees uh, from the consists of the citizens in order to protect this uh, police station against the, the Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, eight uh, leaders of the Muslim Brotherhood have been arrested, and uh, one. One of them, uh, he is a brother of Mr. Uh, Gamal Hishmet, one of the main leaders of the Muslim uh, Brotherhood, one of the dissolved, uh, one of the members of the dissolved uh, Shura Council. And uh, there are also uh, some numbers of the um, of the leaders of the Muslim Brotherhood, but there, uh, I, I think that we can find intensive. Um, intensive existence of the for the uh, the popular committees uh, around the, the 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 whole province in order uh, to protect the buildings and the police stations and and the other and <coughs> and uh, there are initiatives have been taken by some of the politicians and the, the citizens uh, and and. And I think, and uh, uh, so he's asking, uh, what about the the uh, if the people comply with the curfew time or not? I I, I think if there is any vital uh, areas or vital or uh, main streets, for example, the uh, the um, the governorate uh, building. Or whatever they 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 are very comply with the curfew time, 
Let us go uh, to uh, Kafre Sheikh province. Good morning. So, good afternoon, he says. That's from Kafre Sheikh Mr. Sheriff Al Qda, the journalist. Journalists and our reporters in uh, Kafre Sheikh. In Kafre Sheikh, we've got different uh, incidents. At 3 o'clock uh, a.m., there was uh, aggression uh, by the uh, Muslim Brotherhood elements uh, using uh, sticks and using knives, etc., against uh, the police officers. And they hurt it and injured a lot of them. One of the of the uh, officers, his name is Muhammad Bahatab, he was uh, uh, gravely wounded and six other uh, police detectives uh, have been have been transferred to the uh, 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 the central hospital of uh, uh, Kafir al-Sheikh. It was it was a, a police a police uh, a patrol and it was uh, uh, attacked by a group of uh, Muslim Brotherhood so the the uh, the detectives uh, or the uh, the officers have been uh, uh, wounded as I have said this is the f first incident the second incident in Kafr Sheikh uh, this morning the police central police station arrested 175 of the members of uh, violent groups uh, during the uh, 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 the demonstrations uh, of uh, Kafr Sheikh yesterday Kafr Sheikh is uh, a very famous uh, province uh, uh, by its uh, 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 um, uh, popular base for uh, the Muslim Brotherhood. They, uh, they have the half of the popularity, and the second half is, uh, is a Salafi. So there was a big dem and large uh, demonstrations and marches, and uh, uh, the, the police had no problem at the beginning, but when they started shooting, and firing the police. Uh, what kind of flags did they uh, hold during their demonstrations? All the calls during the demonstrations wo was uh, uh, about accusing uh, the, the general Abu Fatah Sisi as uh, a traitor and accusing all the liberal and uh, uh, other uh, political parties that they uh, 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 conspired with the CC and other political forces to uh, 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 discard and eliminate the Islamic forces from the political scene. Thank you very much, Mr. Sharif. And now our reporter, uh, Hazm Nasr. Uh, we can say that, uh, thanks God, uh, it is um, much better than yesterday. Uh, today the uh, situation is completely controlled. Uh, uh, and under full control of the police uh, or the popular commissions in collaboration with the police stations and police forces, they could arrest uh, two cars uh, full uh, with weapons. And uh, the, uh, uh, these uh, two cars uh, have been declared by the police officer what uh, did they have, etc. Uh, there is a very important thing that uh, two t terrorists, they had bullets and uh, guns and the, uh, there were messages on their own mobile to kill the policemen and to declare jihad in al mansura province and to uh, uh, take as uh, uh, an uh, objective all the vital buildings in the city of, of mansura and they are investigating uh, the case but uh, generally speaking we can say that today is much better than yesterday and people are uh, uh, ready. Nobody uh, uh, was expecting that the uh, the Muslim Brotherhood would uh, use uh, bullets and uh, uh, guns firing people uh, randomly. All that um, made people more cautious uh, today uh, and uh, persecuting the Muslim Brotherhood everywhere. There is no any march made by um, Muslim Brotherhood today. No, uh, the city of Mansoura as the capital of the province uh, usually the marches start um, uh, in the afternoon. 
because the uh, Muslim brother who is no longer able to mobilize a lot of uh, a lot of, be of people, their um, um, uh, um, uh, ability to mobilize is uh, weaker than before, and that is that's clear. They are very. They are very capable to mobilize a lot of people, but uh, what we can observe in the last few days that they are not that capable come uh, as before to mobilize uh, a lot um, uh, of people and show up as uh, a potent and a powerful um, political force on the Egyptian uh, scene. Uh, but uh, the uh, what about the? Uh, the uh, compliance of the curfew. We don't have curfew. Uh, the one of the provinces which is out of the list of uh, the curfew provinces. Thank you very much, Mr. Hazim. Before going to um, our reporter, Tamil Magdi Ramses uh, Square, there is a very important uh, point that there is, there is an evidence that they arrested some people with uh, messages on their uh, mobile phones <coughs> talking about talking uh, about and arranging operations uh, against uh, uh, policemen, uh, uh, etc. So this is a kind of document that we can have, we can print out from any of the mobile phones. This is very important. This is very crucial point, as you are saying, that the media should collect the evidences and the mobile phone, the mobile companies as well. This is a very good start to reach, uh, uh, to succeed and to hold on, to hold over the situation. Uh, Tamir, Magdi reporter at uh, Ramses uh, uh, Square, uh, there is uh, 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 great chaos. Now the um, uh, military forces are uh, uh, searching for Muslim Brotherhood inside the the mosque, but uh, there uh, was uh, 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 some uh, uh, um, uh, 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 guns uh, shooting against the the police forces, but we d we did not know from where that uh, uh, came, and that's why the 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 a lot of uh, police forces came over the square, and they are investigating, and they are. Uh, uh, searching uh, uh, all in all the uh, area around. Um, by the other hand, the negotiations uh, with the uh, settlers inside the bank is uh, still uh, there. As I have said before, that uh, the for the prayer, the mosque was uh, closed. There was a, ca a chaotic, uh, a chaos. Um, uh, one uh, an hour ago, there was uh, um, uh, a woman with uh, a niqab over her head. Uh, let me uh, tell you something that there were uh, two uh, persons arrested by the military forces and they shot uh, randomly. Okay, they were uh, two uh, uh, two uh, 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 women with uh, al niqab with the veil, and we think, or some of the the police forces, they think that this is uh, they might be uh, two men uh, disguised in uh, women uh, uh, dress. But we don't know if this is a confirmation or not. No, I, I will. I will uh, repeat. There were a group of ladies getting out of the mosque. Some of them were with al, uh, their own veil, uh, their own <coughs> uh, niqab, and they left them uh, to go peacefully. And even the police forces were protecting them because uh, some of the citizens. Uh, uh, some of the inhabitants uh, wanted to uh, uh, attack them, and this is the problem. But uh, w uh, mm, uh, two of them had a white uh, dress. Do you, rem you remember uh, during the days of uh, Rabba al Adawiyah sitting, there were uh, two famous figures of the uh, uh, Muslim Brotherhood leaders, they uh, were disguised in uh, a woman dress. So a lot of people were thinking. 
the the uh, the same uh, uh, case. So uh, some uh, body started uh, firing and uh, shutting, and there was uh, they uh, have been uh, uh, transferred to one of the uh, of the uh, poli uh, police forces uh, 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 car. When we asked one of the police forces uh, officers, he told us that there are some leaders inside the mosque and this is for security purposes uh, so we, do, we didn't want to have any kind of problems or uh, if any snipers uh, around uh, uh, they could shot uh, uh, them uh, etc so we should protect them and we should uh, 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 take them out safely Ramses uh, street in front of the uh, al mosque uh, Al Mosque, uh, uh, the Al Fatih Mosque. This is a uh, one way, one way road. It uh, width of the street is about 25 meters. 25 meters. It's just to uh, show uh, you up the the situation. So the 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 street is very uh, with uh, 25 uh, width. This is just to calculate how many people were. Uh, 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 protesting yesterday uh, 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 at Ramsey Square. Just you can calculate the number of people. This is uh, for not uh, 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 confusing. Uh, before talking about the Salafi jihadists, we have two more uh, news the, the Libya agency news. What's happening? in Egypt is an internal affair and we will not intervene anyhow. What is happening in Egypt is an internal affair. And we accept what would what the Egyptians uh, will agree to. The second new from the uh, Salvation Front uh, to uh, dissolve the uh, Muslim Brotherhood uh, group as an association and to declare it as a terroristic Association. The right to dissolve the uh, the Brotherhood uh, group and to classify it as a terroristic. In some uh, websites, there are some news that the decision will uh, uh, come uh, uh, soon, uh, come up soon as a uh, 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 statement from the uh, uh, Egyptian government. I just need a, a comment from uh, General Fouad Alam, the uh, security expert. <coughs> These two uh, uh, news that we, this couple of news that we have got from the Libyan news agency. The president of the uh, uh, Libyan, of Libyan government uh, 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 supported uh, uh, 40 days ago, the revolution of 13th of of uh, June, and uh, he agreed with uh, all uh, what uh, the king of Saudi Arabia uh, uh, said yesterday. We appreciate very much the statement of the Saudi Arabia, statement of uh, Kuwait, Bahrain, United uh, uh, Arab uh, of Emirates. Uh, and uh, uh, Kingdom of uh, uh, Jordan. They stated that Egypt is a very crucial and important country, the most important country all over the uh, uh, region. Uh, what uh, uh, the King of Saudi Arabia stated yesterday is, uh, uh, is similar to the support of the Saudi during the uh, Yom Kippur uh, uh, war because he is supporting our people. He is not supporting uh, the the terrorist groups, and he, he they are responding <coughs> against all the international and Western media. Always the United Arab of Emirates, Bahrain, uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, Oman, uh, all the Gulf states along the history. 
they uh, always supported Egypt. Sheikh Zayed, the former president of, uh, of uh, this man, he is one of the l a few men who uh, 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 sit in th into the heart of the Egyptians. We have a lot of buildings, a lot of districts here in Egypt uh, named uh, Sheikh Zayed, Sheikh Zayed. Also, uh, Saudi Arabia is a very important country, especially during crisis uh, uh, um, uh, eras. Uh, 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 even when uh, there were conflicts between uh, the two governments during the 60s, uh, after the sixth, uh, Six Days War in 1967, they supported a lot uh, the Egyptian government. I hope that the Muslim Brotherhood uh, that this is the Islam. This is the 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 Pan-Arabism that uh, uh, we hope to have. So uh, this term is frightening term negotiation. No, I don't like that. Uh, the uh, the reporter uh, of uh, Ramses who was talking about uh, negotiations with the Muslim Brotherhood inside the mosque. No, I don't think that we should have this kind of negotiation with them. This is a technical operation should be made by the police uh, without uh, avoiding avoiding uh, uh, having victims. So we have people inside the mosque. No, uh, they lie. The Muslim Brotherhood, all their own uh, uh, play is to uh, 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 draw the police inside the mosque or to explode it, and then they will get out saying to uh, media all over the world that the, the mosque was exploded, this is a holy place, and uh, we are victims, etc. This is the, the typical and traditional story of the uh, Muslim Brotherhood. Now, I think that uh, even those people uh, and gathering on the entrance of the mosque should be completely evacuated, and then the police forces should take strategic places to 20, uh, 48 hours, 72 days. Okay, they will come out at the end. <coughs> but we can have another problem that the, the media machine that they have um, and that support them um, in um, international media uh, that they don't like to believe that we ha we do really have a terror here in us in Egypt, and they do not believe uh, us. So uh, we've seen a lot of um, of uh, of kids, okay, with the blood, and they take photos and pictures, and they send pictures, and photos all over the world to say to people, look, uh, what uh, are the um, governmental forces uh, uh, making? Like, for example that uh, today there was uh, a rumor that uh, Abdel, uh, G G Gamal Nassar, one of the Muslim Brotherhood leaders in Qatar, he was saying this, uh, uh, this morning uh, in um, one of the political programs in Qatar and Al Jazeera that uh, Abdel Fattah Sisi, the general, is a Jew. He is not Egyptian. And he uh, comes to divide Egypt and to fragment our country, make it a fragmented country. Now, I don't think that Gamal Nasser, and I, I respect him. I know him. I don't know. I don't know if this is true or not. But if he uh, he has really said that, I would tell him that. If you have said that Abu Fatah Sisi as, is a Jew, just tell me Abbas Sisi. Abbas Sisi. Who's Abbas Sisi? And. Uh, uh, where uh, uh, did Abbas Sisi uh, uh, come from? No, I doubt about that because Gamal Nassar is not that man who uh, can say uh, these things. Like uh, uh, other, I, like, I think there are a lot of, of uh, rumors. I think Gamal Nassar, I respect you very much. So uh, I, I don't think that this statement is yours. No, what I mean by the, that, uh, the, that uh, they are claiming that uh, Fatah Sisi, General Sisi, is coming to fragment Egypt. No, let them say what they like to say. They will lose, by the end of the cycle, the respect of the people. 
uh, some if somebody if somebody says uh, that and I respected him before I will not respect him anymore uh, this is uh, 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 this is uh, nonsense uh, we cannot accuse uh, people in that uh, way God will uh, take all measures of accountability against you have to know that this is a part of our faith uh, we have two important points. The first one is the media. The media, there is lack, extreme lack uh, within this conflict, with this, this confrontation, either inside Egypt or outside Egypt, nationally or internationally. Now they will have to address the international arena uh, in their own languages. I, I, I think that uh, all Egyptians all Egyptian TVs uh, to, uh, uh, talking to Egyptians. This is, uh, the Egyptians know uh, everything, but those who are living in, uh, in Western countries uh, should uh, know the truth. Uh, yesterday, one of the TV channels started uh, interpreting all the program. Uh, and, and I can tell you, Mr. Fahad, that today we have started applying the same system. We have two interpreters. Okay. The second point, we have to collect all our experts okay, in different areas, in different sectors, to arrange uh, uh, our priorities. This is uh, 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 very important. But let me, m Mr. Um, Fouad, how can we solve the, the security problem, not only for these uh, days, but uh, how can um, we have a sustainable uh, security? You know that the crisis management, one of the most important sectors, not only for the Ministry of Interior, but at the level of all the ministries, all sectors, all directorates. I think that the Prime Minister, Mr. Hazim al biblawi should have uh, the uh, the. Uh, 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 a council um, um, permanently uh, uh, held and and to uh, to address all our scientists, all our special uh, specialists in different areas. I think that we have nowadays some secret and clandestine uh, groups, uh, Islamic, etc. Those uh, of the. Uh, uh, jihadist or Salafi jihadist, etc., uh, etc. Et but uh, uh, actually, we are talking about extremist uh, uh, groups uh, who are justifying the terrorism. So we just ha have to intervene and to correct their own um, uh, opinions, their own uh, statements. This is uh, uh, one point. The second, the second point is that in some areas they are targeting all the checkpoints, all the police uh, stations, all the po uh, all the police uh, uh, personnel. Uh, uh, but why I'm I'm asking you this question? Why this, uh, especially the police station, etc. Th that remind us the 28th of January 2011. I have said that before, two years ago, that the Muslim Brotherhood had made that. And I, I gave them the scientific evidence that just, just uh, uh, get all the medical reports of all those who have been killed, who were killed uh, uh, in, uh, uh, on uh, 28th of February, uh, uh, January in 2011. That would prove surely uh, that the Muslim Brotherhood and their uh, own groups killed all uh, uh, these Egyptian victims. You would uh, find out the same kind of weapon. The same. This is a scientific case. This is scientific evidence. It does not require a lot of efforts. But you have to collect all the uh, the uh, the for for forensic uh, forensic reports concerning the killed uh, victims in 2011, uh, you would discover, this is not a surprise, this is the reality. You would discover the reality that what happened on 28th January 
was made by Muslim Brotherhood and what is happening now is being made by the Muslim Brotherhood. But if somebody uh, comes uh, to say, no, I doubt about that because I do not trust any information uh, coming from the state, coming from the officials, how can I answer that? This is a traitor. He is a spy. He, if anyone in Egypt doubts about any official information coming from the state, he is a traitor. He is a spy. Uh, we would accept, we would accept uh, uh, to have a supervision from any, from any uh, uh, other international uh, institutions to detect and to make the comparison between the killed people in, uh, on uh, uh, 28th of January 2011 and what is happening now. Uh, no, but if he says that, uh, I doubt about that. My, this is easy to say. This is easy sayings, but it does not uh, have any evidence. You should prove that. How can we get out of that? How can we, uh, how we can save our state? First of all, which is required, which they are uh, doing is to disperse the concentration of the police forces. The police forces need really now a staff, a personnel, uh, more officers, uh, more uh, 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 K2, uh, extend the security all over the country. So I proposed something. Uh, the uh, uh, last uh, four uh, uh, mm, uh, 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 th the last four uh, promotions, the last four promotions of the uh, of the uh, 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 Egyptian who uh, do the military service, we can recall them. They are around three hundred thousand uh, uh, soldiers. We can recall them and uh, we can use them to support the uh, uh, police. And also we have to call the other officers who have been retired and uh, all the re retirees uh, from uh, the military forces or from the uh, from the armed forces or from the police forces have to uh, come and they can advise us and cooperate with us and I can uh, also recruit uh, some technical uh, groups in order to implement in a, in a, a suitable way the uh, the 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 how to deal with this uh, terror Muslim Brotherhood. And I, I think that's, uh, for example, what have been used are like the cameras uh, without any bloodshed and uh, to use uh, um, a modernized means in order to disperse the demonstrations Demonstrators or the and the, uh, the peaceful uh, demonstrations without any uh, bloodshed, and I call upon all the officials and uh, to um, to bring uh, those uh, modernized uh, equipments and uh, and. And uh, now uh, we have to, to tell you that the security forces continues to uh, bring um, the Muslim Brotherhood outside of the uh, al fatah Mosque in Ramses Square. So I call upon the military forces and the security forces who have been retired, then they can lead the, the citizens in their areas and they can have link uh, with the Ministry of Interiors and the Ministry of uh, uh, Defense and, and uh, uh, so, but I'm, I'm afraid if there are some gangs and some 
uh, um, uh, the, the, the others can, uh, can exploit such a situation in order to steal and to make uh, some robberies. So I call upon the Minister of Interiors in order to coordinate with those uh, retirees uh, of the officers in order uh, to work uh, on a voluntarily uh, basis and to lead uh, the uh, the youngsters and the uh, popular um, committees because those committees we uh, uh, whom protected Egypt uh, um, during the first revolution in 25th of January 2011. And if there is any good administration uh, within and the special department at the Minister of, uh, of Interiors in order and uh, to, to deal with this, uh, uh, with this uh, phenomenon and I think that is the inhabitants of Bulak uh, who has been uh, fighting against the uh, Muslim Brotherhood yesterday over 15th of May uh, bridge and they were uh, thousands uh, and, and they started to fight them and they succeeded to uh, uh, they succeeded to fight to fight them, and if they have been reached uh, um, Ramses Square, I think it will be uh, a miserable situation for the security forces. Uh, so that's I'm I'm, I'm calling to the retired uh, retired uh, also retired uh, officers so the the muslim brotherhood attacks again the as uh, police uh, station renewally and the, the security forces fighting against them Uh, for example, uh, that is, uh, then they can, they would like to concentrate, to concentrate those, uh, to concentrate those, the security forces on the Al Fatih Mosque, and then they tried uh, to attack the Al Azbakiya police station. But I think the Ministry of Interiors understand that very well. And uh, they are very cautious concerning uh, this uh, this plans, and I think that is uh, within uh, hours or days I can have three hundred or four hundred thousands of soldiers. They can uh, organize themselves again uh, to confront and to fight such terror Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, I, I made an uh, investigation in Rabah. They said that we eat uh, already, and uh, some others told me that three persons they can take uh, two hundred uh, Egyptian pounds for the three persons, and some others said that we. The, we, we eat only, but the, the, uh, so we have to ask about the sources of finance. Uh, so, uh, so there are some uh, some uh, those armed uh, groups. They are attacked the inha the inhabitants and the civilians in their houses. So it is the responsibility of uh, state, but I can assure to you a hundred percent there is a foreign um, uh, finding and uh, funding for those Muslim Brotherhood groups in order to be armed, and there are some states can uh, support them. In addition to the uh, financial capacity of the Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, because he can invest very uh, much. 
and uh, I can assure to you that uh, they invest in many billions of uh, dollars or Egyptian bonds like uh, uh, Yusuf Nada and Hemmet and uh, Ashatir and whatever. And uh, and uh, we can consider them those people. They are the the. Uh, but I, I I couldn't doubt that there are some foreign uh, funding for the uh, Muslim uh, Brotherhood Be because I. I can find some workers, they told us uh, they, are, they, are, they have been received some money, very between 200 and 300 Egyptian pounds per day. So, but the, the most important uh, thing, what have been, uh, is what have been um, the, the the weapons which has been smuggling from Libya, uh, from the Libyan borders to Egypt, in order to be used uh, in their war against the society. But uh, I can assure to you that uh, there are some uh, some states uh, stands behind uh, such funding Be because they paid a lot of money uh, about uh, they paid a lot of money billions of uh, uh, billions of dollars in order to support. <coughs> To support those, to support those, those, uh, this one. Uh, that is Muhammad Az Zawahri, one of the uh, Salafi jihadists, has been arrested, and uh, they have to be uh, to. Uh, he belong uh, to uh, maybe Al Qaeda or Al. And he has to be, uh, to, uh, I, I ask the military forces and the, the security forces in order to make a very precise investigation with him because he has a very good information. Uh, uh, if we uh, succeeded in order to have such information, I think that will disclose a lot of those uh, clandestine uh, groups, uh, Islamic groups which are working on the, on the underground. And uh, so we would like to have a lot, uh, 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 a lot of information uh, from him. Uh, so what is the countries which can uh, sponsor or which can sponsor the um, the terrorism in Egypt, and I think that's why uh, I am. I'm also wondering why the results of investigations haven't been declared to the uh, people. Uh, for example, I have some weapons which has been. Uh, controlled by the uh, Egyptian forces since 2011 up till now, but we don't have a complete information publicized or published and uh, not declared to in a transparent way to the uh, publics. And I. Uh, I think that is the right of the uh, citizens in order to understand what is going on and to make uh, follow up and in order to um, uh, squench his uh, uh, his thirst uh, to the information to the right information. So uh, we have to to know that is uh, what we have been uh, what we have been discovered by the the military forces, 
we will find the Grenoff uh, artillery uh, and uh, mis missiles and heavy weapons. Uh, so we have to understand from where and who provide them uh, with those uh, weapons because uh, but if it is uh, related to the national security that uh, that's another thing so uh, we talk uh, let us go to another uh, to another point what is the relation between usa uh, because we can consider that is uh, UK and France is just the tools in the hands of USA. Uh, for example, uh, instead of I call as uh, USA, a call is um, um, a sudden or emergency um, meeting for the Security Council, then I can ask uh, UK and France in order to make uh, such a meeting. So why Obama uh, have a very unique uh, relations between Obama and uh, the American administration with the Muslim Brotherhood? And there are a lot of rumors uh, between uh, uh, among the Egyptian people that is, uh, they have to come to the uh, to to be in power in Egypt, but uh, for many uh, deals. I can give you light uh, information on the light analysis that is the uh, Zionist uh, project which is implemented uh, and deleted by the uh, Israel and the USA are targeting the, the, the Middle East to cantons and to uh, small states. So that is a prime minister uh, press conference. So we have to to ask them that is uh, uh, to ask this uh, the, the the leaders and they because they have already at. Uh, the uh, security uh, directorates and uh, and the uh, uh, governorates and the uh, real uh, way stations and and the government and the governmental uh, buildings in addition to uh, cut uh, to cut the, the the streets and the 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 highways and the roads and that's why we apply the emergency and to declare the emergency uh, situation in order to protect the souls and the of the people uh, because the national security is a red line and we couldn't allow to any person to play with these uh, uh, points what happened yesterday and which has been documented by the the tv uh, and the burning uh, which has been happened by the Muslim Brotherhood and uh, it is already documented also by the whole history against this uh, terrorist terror attack uh, terror Muslim Brotherhood and uh, and the, their attacks against the uh, the police stations and uh, and he, uh, without the uh, step on of the and the, the def defense of the uh, police uh, forces, otherwise everything will, will, will burn it in Egypt yesterday. And they have already arrested a, a tenth of them. And I think that is a, the Egyptian appreciate very much. Uh, the the situation and the stance the bre the brave stance of the uh, Saudi Arabia the Libyans the United Arab Emirates Bahrain and Jordan uh, which declared their support to the uh, Egyptian people and the government 
and we uh, we declare that we uh, we declare uh, that uh, that we will cooperate together against violence and against uh, uh, against violence uh, events in Egypt, and we will seek to have a very successful democratic way. Uh, and thank you very much. <coughs> I would like to. Uh, to uh, thank very much the uh, the military forces and the security uh, forces and uh, also the, the the government and the prime minister Hazem al Biblawi, Dr. Hazem al Biblawi, and what happened yesterday, 16th of August 2013. And the uh, the official spokesman of the Minister of Health, uh, and there is a good report of uh, coordination between the legitimate uh, uh, health uh, association and the Minister of uh, Health. And we will uh, report it to you once we were already finished this report. And. And uh, up to up till now, up till ten o'clock in the morning, they is, they burn at twelve churches and they destroy uh, six local uh, local uh, uh, local administrations and uh, some of the uh, uh, judges, some of the judges, com uh, complex of the judges, the judicial complexes, and they burn it, uh, the building of Arab contractors and some other buildings, and they are trying to uh, commercialize with the blood of their followers uh, in order to achieve a very cheap. Um, a very cheap uh, uh, targets, uh, and I think that's what happened uh, today, uh, yesterday, and before, like what already happened in 28th of January 2011. But the security forces, uh, military forces, they are defending the Egyptian people in, uh, uh, with uh, everything. So the martyrs of the uh, of the uh, security forces uh, for, uh, is uh, 57 martyrs and 563 uh, injured persons. Uh, two generals, uh, two um, uh, uh, colonels. What we have been arrested, we are uh, we uh, we arrested about 500 uh, elements, among of them one Pakistani and five Syrians. We have already uh, also uh, controlled. Uh, we have already may, uh, arrested some uh, some weapons and the Molotov and uh, sh shotgun, uh, sh shotguns and automatic uh, guns and the rifles and, for, um, and the 361 uh, automatic uh, bullets and also many ga uh, tear gas masks I, I think that is what we have already uh, been uh, discovered. That's we couldn't uh, call them. It is a peaceful demonstration. In in the in Alexandria, we have already arrested 55 elements uh, armed, and they they have uh, weapons and uh, knives and uh, swords. And the uh, official spokesman of the Minister of uh, of of uh, Minister of Health will will uh, so you can find a lot of citizens have been already shot by the the weapons of the 
of the Muslim uh, Brotherhood, and uh, I think the, the the security forces have already used the utmost uh, self self uh, controlling self control, uh, and they are trying to kill the some of the uh, uh, of the security forces. Concerning the the martyrs, we have one hundred seventy three uh, civilians dead persons, and one thousand one thousand three hundred thirty uh, injured persons up till now. And the Dr. Muhammad Barakat will give you details about that. So we will continue. <coughs> okay, in the name of God. Uh, uh, first of all, we present our condolences uh, to one of the of our staff who uh, <laughs> died yesterday uh, uh, after having been uh, wounded. Uh, during uh, his uh, duty in uh, Rabah Square. I would like to thank all the medical personnel uh, in all our hospital, hospitals across the, the country for their own uh, uh, great efforts and uh, being always at the service of the Egyptian citizens and to save lives of people. Okay, yesterday uh, and today the total number of injured persons, 1,030 persons, 1,030. 169 uh, accomplished uh, the first aid in hospitals and they uh, uh, check out and others uh, still in hospitals. Uh, in Cairo yesterday, yesterday 95 uh, death uh, incidents in Cairo and uh, five in West, uh, uh, West Bank in Giza. In uh, Alexandria, 25 uh, uh, death incidents. Uh, in Suez, uh, uh, 14 uh, death cases. So is, is uh, 62 uh, injured, 62 injured, and and 14 death cases. In Sharkia province, uh, uh, fortunately, no death cases reported. In Ismailia, 12 death cases. In Matruh, uh, no injured, but two uh, death cases. In Damietta, 28 injured and seven um, uh, death cases. In uh, Al Garbiya uh, province, four death cases. Uh, uh, North Sinai, 11 injured and two death cases. Dakahliya, uh, 58 uh, persons injured and one uh, death case. As I uh, uh, have said 169 uh, uh, checked out the already uh, from hospital the the uh, rest of people are uh, receiving treatments in uh, uh, Cairo and other uh, provinces uh, hospitals if you have uh, questions thank you dr sharif but i have a question you uh, you pointed out uh, uh, the death cases uh, that includes the police uh, main forces. No, this is uh, this is uh, I mentioned the mm, death cases of policemen uh, separately. But uh, uh, if this number expresses uh, a, 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 a excessive uh, use of uh, force. Uh, this is the first question. The second question, question if any of the ministers uh, have uh, uh, resigned yesterday. No, we deny that yesterday. 
completely. There was a denial statement, and tomorrow we'll have a council of uh, the government. Uh, so uh, please, to all our uh, colleagues in media, you have to be careful circulating any uh, news. But concerning 173 death cases uh, concerning yesterday, this is not a very uh, high uh, uh, death incident. We uh, present our condolences to all families. The 173 uh, 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 death cases are result, are result from the uh, incidents, clashes between people and the Muslim Brotherhood. The Muslim Brotherhood terroristic acts and people, inhabitants of different districts. They uh, said, uh, the, the, it was said yesterday that the ambulance uh, uh, cars uh, couldn't reach uh, different areas and some people said that uh, they uh, they uh, they uh, came usually uh, late. Uh, uh, I have to admit that we do have uh, enough number of cars and so we can circulate our cars uh, among all incidents. But as you have mentioned, something important, the delay is coming is coming during the transfer of victims. There are some bases when uh, there are clashes in, uh, in, uh, in uh, some areas we cannot get into with our car inside the clash. As I have said, the, the, uh, two of our uh, personnel, uh, one uh, uh, died and the other one is uh, uh, wounded at the hospital. Dr. Sharif, please. All the uh, injured, we transfer them to the hospitals in the surrounding area uh, just to take uh, quick uh, uh, actions, medical actions as soon as possible. We know that the government now is assuming the responsibility in the toughest conditions uh, along Egyptian history. And the government have different political reports. Uh, blood is shed is everywhere. The, 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 uh, this government has been delegated by uh, our people Okay, to use force, uh, etc. But uh, uh, do we have any political solution process or not? We will not continue uh, bleeding every day. As you have mentioned exactly, that the reconciliation is our priority in case for those who are not, uh, 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 whose hands um, were not. Uh, contaminated with the uh, blood of Egyptians. This is very important. But I have to declare the elements, the different elements of uh, of this initiative. The uh, Minister of the Transitional Justice will declare the plan uh, uh, soon. And tomorrow morning we will talk about that during the Council. But what about the solution uh, of this solving the a Muslim Brotherhood, as it is uh, a terroristic, uh, as a terroristic group, as well as the leader of the Muslim Brotherhood, Muhammad Badia, himself has mentioned on the Twitter, you have you have to uh, hit, but with a very tough hands on uh, those all those. Uh, who like to harm the security in Egypt, especially in Upper Egypt provinces. In Upper Egypt provinces, there were a lot of uh, uh, calls uh, to the police stations, but uh, no response. When the Upper Egyptian people uh, would uh, uh, feel security and safety like other provinces in Egypt. Uh, Upper Egypt people are our people, and the Egyptian people is the genuine people. He is very genuine people. He is very... Uh, is our beloved people, uh, and uh, what he made delegating us uh, and giving us this mandate, that uh, this uh, was one of our expectations. But anyhow, Dr. Uh, al Borai, the Minister of uh, Social Security, uh, will uh, search 
within the rules because we like very much to uh, work uh, according to the the legal uh, rules this is very important we have to agree uh, on that how can we dissolve this group of muslim brotherhood they are now searching the different legal tools to dissolve the muslim brotherhood why you don't uh, close the Al Jazeera TV in Egypt. Yesterday, uh, there was, uh, they had um, uh, by the uh, cameras interviews with the demonstrators, uh, protesters inside the mosque uh, of Al, Al Fatah, and they were saying that the uh, uh, the police, uh, uh, the police were shutting and were uh, throwing the bombs on the mosque. Although uh, other other uh, TV channels like uh, on TV said uh, the contrary. This is not important to close. We know that they claim a lot of uh, lies. This is not this is not a crucial point for us. The most important is our media. How can we react? How can we face that? How can how can we make them dwarfs? as a media how can we uh, how can we draw all the the credibility we have now a very distinguished minister of information and media dr dorea sharafuddin she's negotiating with all sides of all dimensions of uh, uh, the media uh, sector the the solution is not uh, uh, closing uh, tv channels okay Okay, we have uh, uh, listened to Dr. Shif Shawi, the spokesman of the uh, Prime Minister, uh, with the statement um, of what happened yesterday. But we will get back to uh, Al Fatih Mosque. Uh, there are some uh, chaos. Uh, the, the, there is uh, somebody shooting, shooting from the the minaret of the mosque. As I, I, I have uh, told you before that uh, 10 minutes uh, uh, or so, some bullets uh, shot from the minaret of the mosque. And uh, it uh, has been repeated uh, several times. And it, uh, uh, it, 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 it seems the same case of um, um, uh, the minaret of uh, uh, the mosque Al Nur in Al Abbasiyah Square. So uh, 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 at the moment, the uh, military forces are uh, checking who is uh, shooting from the minaret and how they are shooting. This is very important. How did that start? Please, uh, 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 Tamir, our reporter at uh, Ramses Square. This is the this is the gate. A lot of people are coming out of the of the mosque. That's right. This is the the four gate of uh, the mosque. There were a lot of protesters inside, and they uh, got uh, out. And uh, some of them uh, 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 refused to get out. They were uh, 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 waiting for their own uh, marches. And they and they called for a new march, going uh, to the uh, Al Nur uh, Mosque. It it means that a lot of them refused to get out of the mosque. Yes, that's right. The, we have some tents outside. Now these tents are not tents of the protesters, but they are tents of the ambulant uh, vendors. Uh, these small shops. But I, I think that we have to evacuate all this uh, district because if you, uh, these uh, tents uh, uh, could be uh, for those uh, who are watching us abroad, they uh, could uh, think that uh, these tents are tents for the protesters. But these tents, I repeat, have nothing to do with the protesters. They are some small shops of the uh, sellers and uh, vendors at the Ramses uh, district. Uh, uh, have you got the new uh, march? No, not yet. We are waiting the march of the Muslim Brotherhood coming from the northern part. 
uh, of the uh, of the Ramses Square. But uh, I think that uh, within uh, a few time we will have uh, some uh, uh, march. But they uh, are still shooting. They are shooting between the military forces and the minaret of the mosque. Okay, please uh, uh, wait, wait uh, uh, online, and now we shift to our uh, colleague Nivin over 6th of October bridge. What's happening? What's happening? Uh, wh what do you see from the to the direction of the minute? A very uh, intensive uh, shooting started from inside the mosque, but we didn't know from. Uh, where this uh, uh, shooting came. But we've seen uh, later on some of the shooters with their own uh, uh, with their own uh, weapons and uh, now the police forces and the military forces are shooting against uh, those elements of Muslim Brotherhood at the minaret. Uh, we have a lot of crowded people. Uh, uh, people are crowding. Uh, uh, over the entrance of the uh, uh, of the the mosque to be protected or to be away uh, from the fire. Look at that. Uh, we are watching now these. We are watching the uh, the minaret. If you uh, if you can m close uh, up. Uh, look at that. Lots of people are running away. And do you hear that? A uh -huh. lot of uh, uh, people are uh, running away because there are bullets coming from inside the uh, mosque. Uh, please close up, uh, close up uh, on the minaret. Uh, uh, here, this is one of the directions. Uh, we have to uh, to say to all our people at streets that you uh, complicate the job of the um, uh, of the police forces. You you do not have to gather uh, this way during uh, an operation of uh, uh, forced uh, evacuation. Uh, during the first hours of this morning, uh, the uh, military forces. Uh, uh, took out Muslim Brotherhood elements from inside the mosque two by two, and they declared uh, the safe exit and safe. Uh, we have seen a bullet uh, coming out uh, 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 from the minaret, from the balcony of the minaret. Uh, we have a lot of uh, people running now, running away at, as you watch uh, uh, on the television. Uh, some uh, more forces, some additional forces came to the uh, uh, place and they are, as you watch and hear, they are uh, uh, shooting. The situation is very hot, it's very uh, uh, tense. Uh, um, uh, uh, what kind of weapons are you talking about? Is it normal weapons? No, automatic guns. I'm talking about automatic guns. All people, all people coming uh, from the de from the Ramses uh, uh, Ramses Square. Uh, they say that the uh, Muslim Brotherhood elements have uh, automatic guns in the inside the mosque. A lot of. Uh, we know that from uh, 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 this morning, a lot of uh, uh, the the owners of uh, the shops and uh, commercial. Uh, of this uh, area are uh, complaining about the the problem that they have uh, a lot of their shops uh, have been uh, stolen um, and they uh, 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 they have stolen a lot of uh, of uh, uh, products from the different supermarkets etc to have uh, their all uh, their needs inside the mosque here, inside the mosque, they started uh, uh, shooting, and the political 
uh, the uh, security forces are dealing with the issue. But it seems that we will have a new sit-in at Ramses uh, Square. This is a problem. Just uh, we need a comment from you, uh, Mr. General Fuad Alam. Uh, frankly speaking, I, I think that uh, we need the intervention of the two groups of commando, the anti-terrorism terrorism, uh, uh, groups, uh, the triple seven and triple nine. They are well trained and uh, this task for them will be very easy task and they know how to face these situations. Technically speaking, they are very, very, very well trained and they have all tools, all needed tools to take out all these uh, boys and uh, men inside the mosque with the latest uh, losses. I don't know why they do not um, uh, uh, take place uh, in uh, this um, operation. We cannot leave the mosque in this, uh, in, in this situation. But we have to take away all people gathered on the gate. We have to evacuate completely the, uh, the square to avoid any military or big military operation causing uh, the fall of victims. Uh, some uh, um, uh, uh, our reporters, uh, uh, our reporters uh, uh, has uh, told us that uh, uh, one of the prisons, one of the central prisons, have been has been attacked by groups of uh, the Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, but he didn't mention anything about the about the uh, um, total number of um, death cases among the. The policeman is uh, 57. No, I think that this is the same number of um, before yesterday. No, I think 57. I, I think that it reached, it might reach uh, 70. And so, uh, death. this is very important for the international public opinion to know and to realize that we are facing killers. that if they have got uh, 60 uh, or 160 uh, death cases of them and uh, and uh, 70 death cases from among policemen so that uh, that means that there was uh, not any kind of excessive uh, use of uh, power but uh, anyhow why mr obama why mr obama deal with the Egyptian case. In the, this is the, the American plan to fragment Egypt. This is their own uh, main objective. But concerning the, the, the other point, Obama, <coughs> two years ago, it, it got convinced that Egypt or one, that some of the Middle East countries could have an Islamic uh, uh, regime and to have full understanding with the United States of America. This was the idea and the plan of uh, uh, Mr. Obama to realize and fulfill all the objectives of the Zionist uh, plans. And that will lead to liquidate completely the Palestinian uh, question. And I think one of the, of the, of the famous, one of the m most important uh, American and uh, Israeli pivot is to how to liquidate the Palestinian uh, question. And that would be made by those called Islamic groups here in Egypt or in Turkey or in other countries. During uh, uh, within one year of the uh, uh, presidential year of uh, Mr. Mohamed Morsi, uh, no operation conducted against Israel. Obama thought that this is the Islamic alternative which could be used to liquidate the Palestinian question. Look at that. I have mentioned that in 2005. I've, I've and I've, I've uh, talked with the different foreign reporters 
And I know, I knew, I, I knew that a lot of them were agents, were uh, uh, um, intelligent agents. From their own questions, I got the idea that there was a very strong tie between United States and Islamic groups, and uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Morsi Saadeddin was the link between the two uh, sides. <coughs> I have to inform all the, the peoples that the history is uh, writing now, is uh, written now in Egypt. So, uh, Ms. Rahmedine will continue the media coverage. Thank you. <laughs>